to that misconception of selling property during the holidays. There's no buyers and there's, you know, no point to doing it. You're going to waste your time. Clearly, that's not the case here. Yeah. Aloha, my name is Stacey Spillman with Next Home Paradise Realty. Sitting down here with Dina, who is in the middle of selling her condo. It seems like there's a common misperception about selling your property during the holidays. <laughs> we had a timeline to try and get our li uh, listing details, stagers, photographer, mm -hmm. the unit ready to show in seven days. Yeah. We had two days open house, had about 30 people come through which was pretty impressive. 25 showings during over those days. How many offers did you end up having? 15. 15. <laughs> oh. Overwhelming. How do you feel? <laughs> you know, um, in some ways, it wasn't that bad. It, it kind of gives you a deadline because you're like, hey, I want it sold by the end of the year. But then in another way, I think I also put a lot of stress on myself making it happen really fast. So you met with some stagers. How was mm -hmm. that, that experience? So it was nice to get their perspective, especially since they've seen a lot of different people's houses and seen a lot of different moves. Um, and I think at first I was really unsure as to whether or not it was worth it, but seeing the final product, um, it, it really, I think, made a huge difference. Dina's friend was a photographer and he came in and was in and out with amazing yeah, photographs. The, the photos were amazing. I kept sending people texts like, can you believe you have dinner in this place? <laughs> now with the movers that you hired, was there any challenge getting an appointment with them? I contacted them a couple weeks ago and they weren't sure if they'd be able to get me in. Um, it's nice knowing that they know what to do and they packed up my chairs and things like that so then I didn't have to worry about Nice. That kind of stuff. Well, I wanted to get a pod. So that way everything was together and it was easy, but they don't, pods don't ship from Hawaii Island. So what I ended up doing is pay per, I think it's like cubic foot. So you don't have to buy a huge or rent a huge container. If you have a small condo size move, you can just pay for the space you use. So that was the most economical way for me. take your uh, realtor's advice. <laughs> you know, they know what to do and what people are looking for. I mean, I would say do use stagers. I, um, even if it's partial, I think it just really helps people. Usually they use more neutral stuff, so it just helps people envision how they would be in the space. Do give yourself enough time to pack. Um, <laughs> towards the end, the movers were coming the next day. I was I was Friendly. throwing stuff in boxes. I, you know, I started strong <laughs> and then I, it, it always takes longer than you think. I, I'm trying to think of any don'ts. Um, I don't know, are there any? Don't wait. Yes. To that misconception of selling property during the holidays, there's no buyers and there's, you know, no point to doing it, you're gonna waste your time. Clearly that's not the case here. Yeah.